The familiar hum of a propeller signals incoming traffic to the Faribault Airport. We do about one flight per hour. Down Ingraham's upcoming flight will be much quieter. It is a motorless aircraft. A plane without an engine won't make much noise. It's got a 58-foot wingspan. As the owner of Cross Country Soaring, one of the state's only commercial glider operations. I always give it an inspection before we fly, and off we go. Don introduces people like Ruth Abernathy to motorless flight. Did we do a hammerhead maneuvers last time? Part of my motivation was that it's such a spectacular thing to do, spectacularly wonderful thing to do. And then one hand on either sill as you lower yourself in. Takeoff is more labor intensive. We are ready for takeoff. Runway 30 And I will tell the uh, tow pilot to slack out a few feet. As a tow plane lifts the glider to altitudes of up to 5,000 feet. It gets going pretty fast. When the two disconnect, the real adventure begins. Is that cool? It is so cool. Taking the engine out of the flight experience uh, is a much bigger step than you might think. Columns of heated air called thermals help keep the plane aloft. You can feel the air move and you, you maneuver. It's so pure that it's, uh, it, it's almost like a different activity than other kinds of flying. In perfect conditions, Don could stay airborne for hours, though most flights are less than 40 minutes. I don't know how to describe it. It's quiet and it, you can see so much more than you can in a regular airplane. If you could close Rachel's canopy, we are leaving the planet. The promise of an amazing view is difficult to pass up. Few get to see Faribault from this vantage point. This is downtown Faribault right there. The absence of a propeller's hum adds a tranquility to the aerial tour. You get to do it effortlessly. You get a, a sense of flow about it. And uh, that's what I enjoy feeling, uh, flow. And Don can easily create a more adventurous flight for those seeking a thrill. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> it's a blast uh, to do aerobatics. These things do wonderful spins and loops. In the world of aviation, soaring may be the least used form of flight. It is a mystery why it is such a well-kept secret. Yet it's the most memorable for those who've sailed the endless sky. I'm going to be the guy that cracks the secret wide open. Rachel Slavic, WCCO 4 News.